Here's a quick look at some of the features in the new RX3 Advanced. And here's the nice new interface that RX3 has. Let me show you quickly. This was the old interface. And so you can see that they've kind of spiffed it up. And the biggest improvement in the interface is that now you can have tabbed files open so you can switch between them. And you can have up to 16 open, which really helps with the workflow. It has all of the modules listed on the side here, so you can just click whichever one you want. First, I'm going to start with the D Reverb module, which is one of the new ones in RX3 Advanced and really cool one. I have a file here of a guitar playing some single notes with reverb on them. I'm going to select a section of that, and then I'll have D Reverb learn it. See, it's real quick. You just press the Learn button there. And now it's going to give me a suggested setting, so I press Preview to hear what it'll sound like if I processed it. Back it off a little. See, the reverb is pretty much gone. Bypass it. Pretty amazing. And the other thing you can do with it is go the other direction. This is the normal reverb. Now I'm going to accentuate it. Another cool one is the deconstruct module. That's another new one. What it does is it separates the tonal from the noise in a recording. Noise being the noisy elements, not specifically noise that you'd want to get rid of, but noise elements that are part of the signal. So for example, I have a flute uh, little riff here. And so what I'm going to do is I will now listen to it with deconstruct on. And now I can do is push up the noise part of it, which in this case of the flute would be the breathiness. So I can make it more breathy sounding, a little less tonal, or I could go the other way, make it nice and round. without any of the breath, or I could bring back as much breath as I want. So that's pretty cool. You can do that with all kinds of different signals. One of the big things that you would use RX for is getting rid of noise uh, in, in dialogue. I have a little dialogue thing I recorded from a video camera, which is a typical situation where you get noise. They have a whole denoising section, which has been in RX for a while. Um, they added this new dialogue denoiser, which is really cool because it's just set and forget. Like, you don't have to go through it, and you just turn it on and go. I'll show you. You record with the built-in mic on a video camera because the subject is too far away to have a good signal-to-noise ratio. As you can hear, there's some hiss on that. a lot of noise on the mic and uh, on the recording of the person. So talking. we're going to get rid of that right now. I'll just... Often when you record with the built-in mic on a video camera, because the subject is too far away to have a good signal-to-noise ratio, pick up a lot of noise. I'm going to bypass, hear the noise, and uh, on the I'll put it on. Now, if I liked it, I'd just uh, hit process, and I'd be all set. Okay, so those are a couple of the new things. Also, they've added in the time and pitch. They've added this cool thing called uh, pitch contour, which basically allows you to draw... Let me set it back to default here. Draw in a pitch change on something. So for example, on this drum loop here, I could make the whole thing just slow down and then speed up again if I wanted. So let me just process it real quick. So you can do all kinds of crazy slow down things and speed up with it. In an audio restoration situation, working with vinyl or tape, this could be used to adjust uh, fluctuating speeds. It's mainly designed not as a creative tool, but as a corrective tool, but it has some great creative aspects to it. A couple more interface things to show you. First of all, you can uh, easily change the size of what you're looking at, go all the way down to the sample level or zoomed out. Cool thing in, in RX is that you can switch between a waveform view and a spectral editing view or have a hybrid of both, which is what I generally do. And then when you want one thing pushed up more, you can always change it with this slider over here. And you can also select in a variety of ways. You can just select a swath of the whole track like that. 
or you can select just any area that you want within it and then you can even play back just listening to that area and they have other kinds of selection tools you can paint in selections the various selection tools allow you to process very specific parts of the audio if you want to so here i'm going to show you one more tool which is spectral repair which it's basically for getting rid of like glitchy things like finger squeaks on guitar like here's a little bit of a guitar acoustic guitar track with finger squeaks <laughs> So here the squeak is happening right about here. You can see it. It's right in that little section there. And that sounds like the squeak. So I use spectral repair in its attenuate mode, which lowers the level of the event. And I just hit process. And now listen. It's gone. It doesn't sound glitchy at all. Anyway, that's a quick look at RX3 Advanced, which is a really cool new version of, of Isotope RX.